Hey everyone, it's Annie Tier. It's been a while since I did one of these shoutouts and as well as informing everyone whether, not whether, but what's going to come out on Patreon. So I thought I'd give you all a little update so you know what's currently going on on Patreon. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to go into the shoutouts. Uh, a lot of things have come up. A lot of things has changed. There's going to be a lot of huge things I'm going to be uploading tonight. It might even catch you off guard, but hey, stick around and hopefully you enjoy the reactions. But anyway, let's just get into the shout out. So for Patreon number one, I want to thank is Kendan for uh, Kendan. Appreciate you uh, joining pa the Patreon as well as Michelle 747 Kaiser Sani Snookies 13 Cricks, I think that's how you say it. Lu Lusmal, D Master XD, Pastel, Christopher, I'm sorry, Christopher Wagner, and numerous, qu numerous courting. A again, I apologize. I'm horrible with names. It, it is what it is. Uh, NZ, a NZ, NZ. And last but not least, Cody Fox. Th appreciate you all for sticking around in the Patreon. So yeah, um, make sure to look forward to more episodes or of, um, well, basically new information of what's going to come out on Patreon. If you just look over to uh, one corner of the screen, I can't tell. I'll know once I upload it. But if you look at one corner of the screen, you'll know everything of what's coming soon, what's currently going on. And yeah. Uh, hopefully you and I uh, hopefully you all have more members later on or sooner than later. But other than that, thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for sticking around. You guys are amazing. You guys are the real ones. And I look forward to seeing more people uh, join this community. Join again. I will say this right now. You have a choice of joining the Patreon or not. You don't have to. It's fine. But if you do, look forward to a lot of stuff as well as new stuff that I'll be adding over here on my YouTube channel. We already have Manga Monday, which is kind of a surprise. And for most people that are on my Patreon, you would know. But yeah. But other than that, thank you so much for your attention. And I'll see you guys all in the, in the review. Yeah. See you guys there. What up guys, Annie Tier Guild Forever, going to be reviewing uh, God of High School episode 4 or 5, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, one thing I will have to point out, if you guys want the full length reaction to this episode, then make sure you check in the description below. We got uh, There's going to be a redirect link to Mega where you can watch the full length reaction, unedited, uncut, and all that good stuff. So yeah, check in the link in the description below. For the full length reaction and if mega isn't good for you give it some time and it'll be available on uh, the it'll be available on the uh, the G Drive on my discord not here but on my discord link to my discord is in the description too but anyway let's just get to this episode first of all, all I have to say is I am very disappointed in Mira I did not expect her to be a sellout simply because a guy had some sort of talent, power, and money. She didn't even love him. She loved the fact that he made he's he has money and he's famous. That's it. She don't even give a fuck whether he. Uh, uh, you know what? How much you want to bet that at the time she didn't even give a fuck whether he was a strong guy or not. All she cared about is that he had influence and he had power. And because of that, that made her think like, oh man, she must have, he must have money. She can bring back, I, she, I thought she was going to revive the dojo through her own skill, like making herself the number one fighter in order to like build back her dojo, not sell out to a random dude that has money and thinking she's happy. Yeah, she's happy. She's, she's happy with his money. She's not happy with him. You know what I mean? And that's what I don't like. I don't like that she so that she became a sellout simply because of this guy's situation. And in the end, her soul, her sword got robbed. Wooden sword at that. And she's like, she don't care because 
Her father's legacy lives in through her. But here's the thing, though. This um, this guy is coming from a group that we've seen early episode one. Excuse me. And I'm wondering what is this group trying to do or something? Are the, what what are they? What the Kat, the Katsuki of God of High School? Like who the hell are these people? I don't even know who they are. But still, um, it's good to see that in the end, she chose to do to revive her dojo the own way, the her own way, the right way, and not just literally marry a random dude that you don't know the first thing about simply because he has money and influence. I mean, in the end, I felt like, I mean, in the end, it was kind of obvious that she wasn't going to marry him. But the fact that she even went about doing it or considered it to the point to where, where to where she almost did it simply because of the situation he's in is a little disappointing in her character. That shows that she is, in fact, a possible gold digger. I mean, in the end, she didn't went through it. But the fact that she almost did it is like you like you swing a few checks on her and she's good to go I don't like that I don't like the idea that she was a sellout granted it's an easy way for her dojo to come back I thought she had more nerves of steel or she had more character than that but I guess I was just putting too much hope in her that's just my opinion though what else what else what else um and next hoo -hoo, we're gonna get to han i am disappointed with han and i'm disappointed with mira uh, these two care like han is my favorite character for those of you that don't know but even even then i cannot defend what he did in this episode. Yo. He bloodied Mira up. He bloodied her up. For what? Because his friend is in an urgent situation in the hospital? Yeah, I get it. I get it. You're frustrated. You're mad. You're worried. You want your friend to be okay. But shit just keeps happening one after another. And it bothers you. I under... I understand your frustration, Han. Trust me, I get it. You hate that this is happening. You're worried that you might possibly lose your best friend. And you don't got time to spare. I understand completely. But blooding Mira up, your friend. Yes, you are fighting in this, but you didn't need to bloody her up. You could just be you could have just have beaten her. And there, that's it. Why would you bloody up someone that that considers you your, your your their friend? She cares about you. She she thinks of you as a friend. Why'd you have to do her this dirty? Again, I get where you're coming from, but there's absolutely no excuses for doing what you did, unless for some reason Mira like effing. Maybe maybe Mira did something to provoke Khan. Maybe she said something, or maybe something awakened in him, some kind of berserker mode. Maybe, this is what I'm predicting, because I feel like they, they just have to do a flashback to the rest of that fight, because I hate that they didn't show that fight. But this is my prediction. I'm predicting that Mira was owning Han, like she had the edge, she was whooping his ass. And Han was getting frustrated, like, look... I can't lose here. If I lose here, my friend is gone. I can't I can't let my friend die like this. So he made of went in like to some kind of berserker mode to whoop the shit out of her just so like like it, it happened at a spur of the moment, an emotional reaction to the dire situation he his friend is. And because of that rage boost or that boost that he got during his fight with Mira that must have caused him to while out a bit, to go out a bit out of control. Maybe maybe when he got this little power up, 
it did something to his psyche to where he wasn't sure what he did or he could or he knew absolutely what he was doing and he just wrecked the shit out of her because he needed some anger to vent out i feel like that is the most likely scenario but if that really is the case then again han i'm disappointed in you buddy i expected more from you yes i understand your friend is dying yes you're hurting yes you're you're you're, you're concerned but there is absolutely no reason for you to do what you did to Mira. That there is absolutely no reason for you to do that. Unless she did something to trigger you. What do you guys think? Did you were you were you let me question ones and question ones one and two. Were you happy with uh no I won't say were you happy? What did you thought of Mira and Han in this episode? That counts as one question. Question number two. After this episode, do you still, do you see Hans and Mira any differently? And tell me why in the comment section below. Honestly, I do. I see Mira and Hans way more differently than before. Do I still think of Han as my favorite character? Look, I don't feel like I can say that right now, but I still like Han. I still like Han and I'm hoping that he's going to change or they at least explain why he did what he did. I mean, I feel like it's obvious, but I still want to have confirmation. Anyway, guys, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Don't get me wrong, though, guys. I still love this episode. Still a good episode, but I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in Mira and Han. I can't believe they did what they did. I expected more from these two. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace.